Hello all. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do the noise analysis of an operational amplifier or any other circuit in general. I am going to use the same setup which I was using for stability analysis. But you can also uh, do the noise analysis for open loop, op amp. So I will launch ADL. I will set up the noise analysis here. Noise and I will sweep the frequency from 10 to 10 gigahertz. And here I select the output noise as voltage. When I select the output noise here as voltage, it gives me this message that uh, I cannot uh, calculate the noise figure or noise. Yeah when I select this as voltage. So remember, if I want to calculate the noise figure, I need to define it as a port here, okay? And then I select the output and uh, the ground negative is ground here. And then again, input noise, I select the voltage here. Again, the same message comes in my CIW window, but I will ignore it right now. So the input noise, I select the input voltage source here. That's it. Okay. And now I will simulate it. And uh, once the simulation is over, I go to results and that plot man form. So in the form here, you see uh, the output noise. Uh, it's the noise source magnitude multiplied the transfer function. And uh, here we will calculate the total output effort noise, which is the noise power from each noise source summed at the output. And then you have the input noise. It's the output noise divided by the gain from the input source to the output. And uh, the noise figure and noise factor, we can only calculate when we define them as a port, not voltage, as I already showed you when I was setting up the noise analysis. And then the transfer function, is, is the transfer function from the input to output. So the signal level here, I will keep it voltage per square root hertz and then modify the magnitude. And uh, so let's plot the output noise. I simply click here and add plot. I can also add it to the outputs, but let's plot the output noise. So this is the total output of our noise uh, with the sub frequency from 10 to 10 gigahertz. And uh, similarly, if I want to the input I simply click on input noise and plot it also. Okay, now uh, let's go to very another important topic. Again, uh, one more thing here that plot instead of going to man form, you can simply click on equivalent output noise. It will plot the same curve which you had from the form. And uh, now let's uh, say, for example, you want to um, do some debugging or optimization, and because you want low noise operation amplifier or a low noise any other circuit. So there are some utilities in Cadence also which can support you to make your, make your job easier. So how you can do it is you can go to results, print, and first is the noise parameter. So with this, you can find uh, how much noise, the thermal noise and flicker noise, a specific transistor is contributing or a device is contributing to the overall op-amp. So I just click on the noise parameters so it asks me at what frequency you want to find the uh, noise contributor. So it's kind of a spot uh, frequency it is asking me. So far, let's keep it one kilohertz here. So I just press OK, one kilohertz. And now I go inside uh, this symbol here. And I choose a transfer, for example, this PMOS here, if it's NM4 name, I just click on this. So it gives me here uh, the noise which is contributed by this transfer. So you can see here the FN is a flicker noise, the ID is the thermal noise, and then the noise from the random source. So the total is this much uh, at one kilohertz. Okay. So similarly for NM3, you can see here the yeah, the thermal noise and the flicker noise, FN and ID mostly I'm, I'm interested in. And then yeah, for the other transfers also one by one. So this is one feature which is very uh, important if you want to work on the low noise uh, circuits or low noise operation amplifier here. Then the other is the noise summary again. I go results, print the noise summary here. So when I click on the noise summary, so a window will come up here, pop-up window. So it asks me here the type 
do I want a spot noise or integrated noise? So the spot noise is the noise summary it will give me at a specific frequency, for example here 1 kilohertz. But uh, the integrated, I can sweep it from let's say 1 kilohertz to 100 kilo or you know, till 10 gigahertz I can also go. So let's keep it for now, here spot noise and uh, the noise unit I will keep it uh, as it is. You can also change it here if you want. And then uh, the, the models which you want to add here, okay. So usually you should do include all types. So for me here I'm using only the uh, B3, B3 of N, uh, the transistor. So that's why you see only this model. But if you're using some capacitors and inductors or maybe resistors, you can see some more here. And uh, then the hierarchy level here, this is mostly used uh, when you want to find the P noise or HP noise, you know, uh, but not for here. So you can keep it as it is also. And then you can also input some instances from the circuit or you can exclude some uh, which you are not interested, something like this. And then also you can uh, sort, for example, uh, how many, like, do you want to, for example, here, do you want to see on the top three uh, transfers which are contributing with noise? Or uh, let's say if I keep it five here, I want to see five here. And you want to see by sort by what my noise contributor, composite noise or device name, something like this. And I keep it five and just press OK here. So you will see here the five transfers which are contributing, you know, based on the noise contribution the top five which, are, which contribute to my overall noise. So if I want for example to achieve a low noise, what I can do is I can try to see how I can you know, uh, reduce the noise which is contributed by these two transistors. And here you can see at one kilohertz the total noise, the input output noise, the, all the uh, information. So this is how you do the noise analysis for an open amplifier or any other circuit in the cadence. Thank you.